In today's vlog, we're going to cover a few things before heading to the driving range later on to hit some balls. So there's going to be plenty of late night ball flights. But first, what I'm going to do is cover three things that I'm doing at the moment to help you hit it further. Okay, before we go into this, I need to drop some money into the bank. I will be laughing straight to the bank with this. Ha, 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 ha. Apparently there's too much to deposit. Mm. Um, so yeah, I just had a meeting with the bank and they said that I was apparently raking in dollar, rolling in green. Apparently you've, you have the game hemmed up like a sewing machine. But yeah, heading down to the gym now. Before number one, again, the next thing I'm going to do is quickly go through a kind of like a speed power plyometric session, which I've showed you before, so I didn't put it in the three things today. Right, so number one is mobility. Now I wanted to show you this little routine that I'm doing at the moment in the gym, but the studio was taken. So just gonna do a little time loop of what I'm gonna do in my flat. Um, really easy to do, it takes about 15, 20 minutes. Now mobility is really important. It's something that I never used to really take care of. Uh, but you could be a very strong athlete and not be able to use your body in a well mobile way. You may not be able to apply the strength you have to the athletic movement that you're doing and then it's completely wasted so that is a very important step and number one that day Number two is strength. Now this actually looks like the start of like a really seedy like documentary on spice, doesn't it? This week in Exeter, I'm with one of the worst affected areas of spice. No. There's a lot you could say about strength. There's a lot of different programs you could use. I've recently been using N Suns. I've run five by five in the past. The main things when thinking about what you need to do or what kind of program to run are um, you know how often can you train what is your level so there's not like a one-size-fits-all thing so as long as you are using progressive overload increasing reps or weight weekly you're getting enough rest and you get enough calories in to keep making increases in strength then you go in in the right direction number three is gonna be technique so what I'm working on at the moment is 
basically using the ground. So on the way up, <coughs> I'm trying to get my body weight um, as high as possible. So 95 kilos at a dress, trying to almost like get as light in my feet as possible into the downswing, use the ground as much as I can. So squat down and then try and like, almost like load in the ground with as much body weight as possible. From there, just like unload. So from there, squat down, unload. That's why both feet are now like taken off an impact. Anyway, that's the main swim for the day. Let's go. All that, all that shit. Yeah. Swing changes, feeling quite good actually. Well, not really changes, just like things I'm conscious of. Right, so that's it. Another practice session done, another vlog done. So let us know what you think about this one because. I've tried to put in not just gym, make it a bit more you know, like informational. Informational is that a word? In informational, informational, informational math. I've tried to um, give you some insights into what I'm actually working on. And do you know what? I actually like making these vlogs. I, I, I could see myself being like one of those one of those vloggers. Um, actually, seriously, that wasn't sarcastic. <laughs> Although it sounds sarcastic. So if you like more of this. I'm going to be doing this now on a regular basis. Obviously, it gets more interesting next year as we travel, as we compete. But next vlog will be Slovenia trip, which I'm going on. Which is going to be interesting. Only a bit of golf, but a bit of travel. So I'll be back with that.